the Sony microcomputer um, uh, graphics system, because of the way it's been designed to interface with video, supports the development of post-production through software, not simply dedicated black boxes. A computer is only limited by the available software. And since software for the SMC-70G, for example, as a production tool, video-related software, is coming out on a regular basis, when you buy into the hardware unit, this unit, you are opening up a lot of opportunities for yourself. to a video producer to produce images. Usually it's a camera. Hopefully it's the best camera possible when we're dealing with uh, small format video production. But how else can the video producer produce images, get images to the screen? Well, there's only one way, really, and that's the creation of graphics in these days, the creation of computer graphics. Let's say that you're in a smaller production facility, you have a special effects generator built into your editing system, and you can key in a title using an external keyer and colorize the title because you're coming off of artwork that was perhaps done white on black or title work that was done white on a black art card. In the process of putting up an art card, a number of things can go wrong, including the position of the card, the position of the camera, the light level on the art card, and the angle of the light on the art card, uh, how the camera is picking up the art card from the standpoint of light, its aperture, and so forth. Graphics editor and video titler are inexpensive alternatives for the creation of high-level video titles and production graphics in the small format of production studio. You have a choice of 16 colors. You can change the color. You can change the position. You can enlarge the image. You can reduce the image and then move the reduction around the page. The SMC-70 output can go directly to tape. You also have a mode known as super. That's the mode for typically keying the title over a video background. And that will punch out that piece of the background and replace it with the actual title. There is a choice called mix as well, a semi-dissolved image and a quit mode, which is handy because it allows you to take that title off the screen or put it back on the screen at the appropriate time in the edit. The help key accesses you to your instruction manual also built into the computer. The video title or software program arrives on a diskette, which can create for you video titles in 16 different colors with three forms of drop shadow and a number of different type fonts. Six that are available from the software as it comes to you. Two that are called user definable that you can actually create. So from the standpoint of video titling, it is a very flexible program. In Graphics Editor, they get a completely unique approach to creating graphics, either by using the built-in cursor or you can use an extremely handy device known as the digitizing tablet. It is a peripheral device bought in addition to the microcomputer which allows you to trace a drawing, an existing photo or drawing, and get that image onto video. It makes the application software and the computer very user-friendly, so that transferring from your mind's eye to the computer becomes very easy, very straightforward. If a cable system or a low-power television station or a corporate video installation wants to simulate what can be done at a network level in the area of graphics creation or title creation. Using graphics editor and video title is the way to go. Sony's uh, Q Manager software allows the video production people to get their graphic files and their video title files up on to their video, superimposed, in a queue mode, so they can time it out, rather than try and do it in real-time mode, which can cause some problems. 
It allows you to create a queue list that has real-time code, which is supplied by the computer, which runs parallel with any of the uh, any three uh, Sony video editors, which is RM440, BV800, and the BV3000, 3000A. Entering time code is also no problem because if you put it in a time code mode, you can sit down and watch your video in real time and hit the space bar where you want things to happen, such as wipe in a graphics file or wipe out a graphics file. The wipes are something that video production houses ask for. That does split wipes, radar wipes, most of the commonly used wipe patterns the video places use. So you don't have to write down all the information you need. The computer takes care of your needs. It stores all the information away. All you have to do is hit a function key to get it back. And no fuss, no muss. QManager is very easy to use. The only typing you have to do is at the beginning get QManager started. And what you have to do is you type QM, hit the return. You then see a display telling you what version you have and what you're running. You can either edit a blank queue list right now, or you can load another by hitting the load key. And then by hitting the arrow keys, that allows me to select any file I wish to load. Now with the SMC70G, that's all you need. SMC70G and the software packages that Sony uh, sells to the public. And from there, you can do almost anything. You can sit down and create your graphics on the SMC70G. You can title the graphics. And you can sit down with your manager and display the graphics on your video. So our view was to design an alternative to the traditional post-production technique or facility on a certain level. By using a computer that was very efficiently and clearly designed to integrate video and computer graphics well together and designing a complete software package that would enable you to design graphics and fonts and text and also use the computer as a post-production workstation. Its application was really directed at graphic designers, video producers, and media specialists and that it would have to be used without a lot of specialized computer commands or protocol. Graphics management software is designed to be used with a light pen or a digitizing tablet. The individual uses the pen to touch positions on the screen or to draw graphics. From the master menu, one uses a light pen or stylus to choose the following seven sub-menus. A paint menu to create graphics, illustrations and pictures, a text menu to create text and position anywhere on the screen, a font menu which creates fonts in five varieties with outlines and drop shadows and so forth, a file menu which allows you to store and recall graphics from a floppy disk, a figure menu which allows you to create icons, symbols or logos and move them around the screen, a view menu which allows you to create sequences of graphics such as uh, icons, text, or fonts and animate them onto the screen. And finally, there is a on-screen help menu which gives you more detailed instruction about how to use any element of the program. The computer memorizes which graphics you have chosen and actually their locations on the screen. It's very much like an edit list. We call this template animation. The view menu allows you to program all your design graphics, text, and fonts, as well as turn the computer into what acts very much like an automated SEG in post-production. Graphic designers, video producers, media specialists do not necessarily want to learn a lot of specialized computer programming to uh, create what they want to create. Uh, they do not have to do that with this software. Yet the software has enough richness and variety in it uh, that one individual can be both a designer and a post-producer on a simple workstation. Phone rings. The client calls and says, how much would it cost to do such and such a production? Now, doing it manually, 
you go back and sit down and figure, refigure, uh, wear out that eraser. You finally call up the customer and he says, oh, this is good, but I've decided that instead of one inch, I want to do it three quarters. With a program like the associate producer, without any prior knowledge of computers, without any feel for computers, you can sit down at a keyboard and a screen, and you could call the client back in 10, 15 minutes. Because all the information, most of the information that you need is in the computer. The associate producer is a package of four programs, four functions. Budgeting, which means assembly, assembling and revising the budget. Tracking, which enables you to track your expenses against the uh, budgeted figures. And then two scheduling programs. A production scheduling program for film type shooting, which might be likened to an electronic production board and a program rundown, which enables you to assemble uh, segments when shooting live, of say a, a magazine format or news or variety or talk show, where uh, a number of segments have to be fit into a preset, predetermined time. Uh, with the associate producer, you can insert a segment, you can adjust the length. The computer automatically does the calculation. And in production, whether it's with budgeting or scheduling, you're always, you're always juggling. You're always adding something, taking something away. What's the net effect? The computer determines that almost instantly. C'est un fait. Vous pouvez maintenant superposer des graphiques de qualité professionnelle à tout signal vidéo. C'est un fait. L'opération peut se dérouler dans vos locaux à un prix à bord. Sony SMC-70G. The SMC-70G is an incredibly versatile microcomputer with Genlock capability. It generates text and graphics for live display or recorded presentations and synchronizes them with an external video signal. The 70G has unlimited applications. If you record graphics as a single information medium, if you incorporate graphics in live video presentations, or if you tape graphics combined with other video inputs. The SMC 70G is engineered to simplify computer video connections. And the expansion unit provides for continual adaptability. The computer has a high resolution graphics display, 64K memory, and probably the easiest software package you'll ever use. You can access total documentation for the 70G within its software package. The help menu is simple to use and easy to understand with a step-by-step -step explanation of 70G graphic and titler functions. With the SMW7072 graphics editor software program, you rapidly generate top quality graphics using the digitizer stylus to create your graphic by simply tracing over line drawings or other images. The graphics editor has a zoom up function for easy editing at two times size, four times, and eight times the size of your display. With the SMW7072 graphics editor, colorization is not only easy, it's also very quick. Complete titling software is also available. Like the graphics editor, the SMW7070 video titler software program provides 16 color options. The video titler program includes five fonts in three sizes, plus another font in a special extra small size. So you have full flexibility, whether you're labeling charts, supering lower thirds, or simply generating program credits. Two more fonts are user-defined for additional flexibility. You can adapt existing fonts or develop entirely new styles. The video titler program also enables you to add shadow or edge to characters for increased legibility, no matter what kind of background you choose. The SMC70G also does text editing 
and can reposition characters as you check title placement over your visuals. There are four picture modes. The computer output, the video output, computer output mixed with video output, and computer output superimposed with video output. You can select an external sync source, such as your VTR or sync generator, or the SMC-70G can generate sync internally. The sync mode can be selected manually or be programmed by the software. The SMC-70G has a wide lock-in range, enabling it to genlock the VTRs and video disc players without the added expense of a time-based corrector. The SMC-70G package has two superimposer options, the NTSC superimposer and the RGB superimposer. With the SMI-7073 RGB superimposer, you can super high-resolution RGB text and graphics for live presentations, create essential visual support for educational and training lectures, and clarify technical information for medical, engineering, or science communications. Coaches can even use the 70G for after-the-game analysis because the 70G and the RGB superimposer can supply top quality graphic display for any education media. With the SMI 7074 NTSC superimposer option, there are almost unlimited video recording opportunities. The SMI 7074 accepts RGB signals from the computer, encodes them to an NTSC signal, then combines that signal with the external video signal so you can record the graphics and text you've created with the SMC-70G. Sony has everything you need to put together... The a fact is that you can make your existing video production far more professional and flexible with the SMC-70G. If you're already producing video, you're probably buying out-of-house graphics, but you could own the 70G for less than you'd spend on several sets of TV art cards. The 70G can substantially save money and time for higher-end production facilities. Create your graphics and titles and edit them into your rough cut. You can mix or overlay computer graphics with video, either in real time or in post-production. You'll minimize turnaround time and increase titling accuracy because you'll no longer have to describe final visuals at offline approval sessions. The 70G is especially cost-effective for interactive post-production or for any type of show ultimately requiring expensive online editing. The 70G can provide representational graphics and the security of your client approving the entire visual package in your rough cut. You can use the SMC-70G for a full range of microcomputer applications, including word processing, and it has a wide range of peripherals and software programs. The fact is, you get great graphics, and you can take any video facility a step up in professionalism and performance with the Sony SMC-70G.